Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to make tags tonight for the collaboration between Judy Lee and Edie. Edie is feeling under the weather right now and she's without power. She's in the line of <clears throat> ice and snowstorm that came through. Um, and it's cold here where I am, but I, I have not uh, had to deal with any of that. Thank goodness. I think uh, Judy has, though, but she's good now. So, what we're going to do is take a book of some so-so cardstock. Okay, some of it looks pretty good. That's cute. I like that. <clears throat> That's so-so. That's good. Oh, and look, Edie. There's your favorite. <laughs> Um, you know, something like that, or that, or that. So let's take this one. <clears throat> and I hope my uh, camera holds out. I've got a weird little setup tonight with it. So we'll see. We're going to take this one and turn it into something like, hold on, sorry. Ta-da! Um, because I did this one already. <clears throat> so we're going to use up some paper that normally we don't like. And turn it into something very pretty. And uh, something we want to use in our crafting. And it's really not that hard. Um, but hold on, let me... Uh, Still going. I was going to try to turn up the volume, but I hope y'all can hear me. All right. Um. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. Now on the back, it's just plain, like the back of this. I have not done anything. I thought about putting just some lines on there for journaling, or you know, I could put some uh, coffee dyed uh, paper. Uh, either one would be really cute. So let's get to it. Okay, here's our kind of undesirable piece of cardstock. Now, what I've got is a bunch of scraps. Let me put this over here. I've got my jacket on tonight, y'all, because um, it's cold. It's cold. Okay. I have a bunch of scraps here. We've got just an odd assortment. Let me pull some of these out. There's something. Let's see what I got here. Just odd assortment, y'all. There's some green paper. Y'all might hear dogs barking or anything. That came out of an oh 1945 Beta Club magazine. And then I got book pages out of a book. You can't even see what that was. I think it was an elephant, maybe. So let's see here. Let's get started with what we've got, okay? Then if I need more, I'll go back. I'll put these scraps back over here. So y'all get to see. Ooh. My tummy. But we're not going to talk about that either, are we? And I'm going to use... Sophie, go see your daddy. Uh, art glitter glue. Okay. With a little pen. I love that little thing there. Okay. All right. And I'm not going to cut. You could cut if you want to. I'm not going to. Um don't plan on it anyway so you just you just figure out what, how much you need of something and really I want I'm gonna take this number off and let's see I really want the music part and not so much the 
plain paper. I'm just going to root right down there. Okay. Don't be afraid of it. There we go. Okay, there's a piece. Before we glue, let's kind of lay it down. Can y'all see? I don't think y'all can see. Let me adjust this a little bit. Is that better? Um, so we're just kind of, kind of lay it down and work on it from there. Here's a piece of green. Let's do, let's tear it in half and put a piece of green here. Okay, we're just going to collage it up and make it into something new. Kind of like Nick the Booksmith's Franken Pages, if y'all know anything about that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to rip this right here. Alright, let's put this here. We want it going every which way. It does not have to be perfect. Let's put another piece of the green down here. I'm going to put it all the way over. And you can you can clip, or not clip, I keep saying that, don't I? You can rip this off, or you can cut it after the fact. With the scissors, after you've got it glued down. Uh, you can do that. Okay. So, down here, let's use a, a piece of this right here. Just leave it just like it is. Might actually be better. No, no, it won't. Oops. Let's go back to this. Now I got this page. It come out of a in a child's book, I think. Um, we can put it right there in the middle, like that. Sophie, what are you doing? Lay down in the bed and be happy. She's got her dog dog bed down there. That's Sophie tonight, not Cricket. Cricket's in the bed with my husband. I think I will use this piece that's kind of uh, off the side of a um, book. Let's put that right there. We're just going to piece that together. Put a little piece here and under there. Hey, Sophie. Hey, Sophie. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Um, I think that's good enough. I like that 124 on there. One, uh, page 124, if y'all can see that. I'll put it like that. And actually what this will make, I'm going to cut it in half. I'll make two two tags. Okay, so now we're going to glue down. I'm going to try to hurry along with this um, so I don't bore y'all. Let's see. I pick this back up. Set it aside. Kind of the way that um, I had it down. So I can try to repeat it, but you know, if it's not the same, it's fine too. Alright, let's start with this big piece of music paper here. Just going to glue down, okay? We have not had any of the ice and sleep 
And in fact, two days ago, it was 66 degrees. Or 60. But wet, oh my gosh. My yard looks like a pond. We've had the most rain. And then today, tonight it's cold. Really cold. But um, Judy Lee, I'm doing the collaboration with, and Edie are in Mississippi. And, yep, you guessed it. They've been right in it. Lost power. Um, cold. I don't know what my dog wants. I just walked her. Probably wanting my attention. I can't be with you all the time, little doggy. I got something else to do, too. Go see Daddy. Go see Daddy. Okay, I'm just gluing this down. Can y'all see that? Gluing that down. And let's see. This one goes next right here. But tomorrow night for us, it's supposed to be 27 degrees. Tonight it's 37 or 38. Um, so, and some precipitation, but it doesn't call for sleet or snow. I just don't see how we wouldn't get some of, at least some sleet ice of course not the pretty snow at 27 degrees here yeah. I would think something's going to happen so it's coming right along there I'm going to take this piece I'm going to glue it right in the center so it'll be like a actually I'm going to go over to the side a little bit because I'm going to cut this in half so if I had to guess half would be about right there that way It'll get this little picture if I decide to leave it. Sophie, please quit that, honey. What is it, little girl? Huh? I can pick her up and uh, show y'all. She's a little mini Dotson. Cute as a button. But always into something. That's like having a baby again. She just turned a year old. In December and February the 14th made one year that we had had her we got her and brought her home it was a little bit awkward but I think it's okay come here Sophie come here you want to see everybody come here oh well she's over there now I'm gonna take some uh, pieces of can y'all see that good i don't like the setup but it's kind of like what i got it's late at night i'm not in my crafty shed it's cold oh yeah i'm in here in the house i'm just gonna put this down to cover up the little funky little pink and blue blocks and I'm going to put the 24 here. One twenty-four. The number 124. Just because. Oh, why not? And let's see. Let's put another piece of this right here. And that's going to be the last piece. Because we can... You'll see what I'm going to do. We are going to cover up almost all, okay, no, literally all 
of that unwanted paper. Okay. Now we have this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is take a piece, and I've already used this piece. This is a piece of um, parchment paper. You can use wax paper. You can even just use a paper towel. It doesn't really matter. So, I'll use paper towel and this to show you. And this is chalk paint. You could use um, gesso. And I do have gesso. But I just love my chalk paints. So, I'm going to apply some to the paper towel and dab it especially around where I want uh, that cardstock hidden. Okay. Then I'm going to put it on the um, parchment paper. Just any old way. I think I want a little bit more on here. I could use a um, you could use a paintbrush. She's having a spasm. You could use a paintbrush if you wanted to. Okay. Put this back on because normally I would turn it over. Alright. Now, turn this over. Wet side down. In fact, I'm going to turn it over like this. And apply it to it and just kind of rub around it and let it go wherever it wants to go <clears throat> the first person i saw do this <clears throat> excuse me was artie mays andrea at artie mays and i just fell in love with the results of it it was just beautiful sophie i'll get you in just a minute honey okay hold on a second you just pick the paper up and go around because the paint's wet and just apply it just kind of willy-nilly there's a big bunch of it right there you don't want to rub like go back and forth with it you want to apply this and then put your um, hands and fingers over it to, you know, smush it around. There's a little bit there. Almost all of the um, the pink and blue cardstock is covered. In fact, let me put a little bit more. Is there any left on there? Oh, see, she's getting into something. <laughs> yep. She's found a one of her bottles to play with, I guess. A water bottle. She'll play with anything. Anything. Okay, I think I need some more, like I was saying. And I forget what I'm doing. Too many things going on. Okay, so I'm going to apply some more around on the um, parchment paper. And just notice how it starts to bring all the edges and the pieces together. But yet, your original um, collage is still peeping out. Okay. See there? It kind of softens up your edges. 
it brings the piece together like it's one piece instead of, you know, eight or ten pieces. And it's okay if, um, you know, your birds are still there. Or I covered up that little man's head there. There. Um, there's my number got covered up. That's okay. Be all right. It's a collage. It's fine. Because this is not going to be the focal point. This is going to be your background. Okay. So that's enough of that. Okay. Put this over here. Okay. Sophie, what have you got there? Sophie, what is that? And we're remodeling the kitchen. Remodeling. Yes, we're remodeling the kitchen. <sighs> yeah, I sighed. I love it when it's finished. And I have a dishwasher. My last video, I said my husband got me a dishwasher. I've not had a dishwasher my entire adult life. And when I was a young teenager, we did in the house we lived in. Um, but since then, yep, that's my dishwasher there. So, he got me a dishwasher. The dishwasher's put in. The floor been ripped up. The subflooring had to be fixed from a leak from the freezer. Um, so the subfloor has been redone. And he's starting to put the, I don't know what this black tarpy looking stuff. It's going to be between, we're going to put uh, hardwoods in the kitchen. Uh, it's, uh black tarp looking tar paper so he started doing that but the oven is out the refrigerator's out well it was moved over the um, freezer's not where it was and that's the leaky thing we got to decide to um, move it or get rid of it completely and our marbles are in a jar in the safe. Yeah. Marbles. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> that was my son. So, it's almost dry. I want to cut it. I want to cut it in about half anyway. I'm just going to go for it. So now we have two tags to work with. And again, here's the one that I finished. It's amazing. It doesn't like the, you know, the undesirable paper. <laughs> There's a little piece um, hanging over there so we can trim that. Okay, and I think we'll just do one. Uh, so I'll pick, let's see. Uh, it's hard, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there for right the, mo right the moment. Okay, got to fill my bottle back up if y'all can see how empty that is. It's way down there. So, next... You can tell with this one, you can see that in the background, the um, chalk paint. When it dried good, I went over it with some vintage photo distress oxide. I went around it with a new item that I opened tonight, but I wanted to use it before I got on. I know some people, you know, they're brave and they go on without trying it. Um, but this is Precious Metals 18 Karat Gold 
something or other. Anyway, it's leafing finish. And I'm pretty sure I got it at Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> so I went around the edges of that, if y'all can tell. You can see the gold. I went around the edges of the tag, the butterfly. And I think that was it. So we'll do that with this one too. And I just uh, kind of twirled it around. And you can use, oh, that made a mess because, um, yeah, oof, look at there. Anyway, I used my finger with it. Okay, so I'm going to just lightly go around. Maybe some, some places I'll do a little more. Than others. Oops, that's a little more than I wanted to do. The dogs have the uh, neighborhood dog bark thing going on. One barks, then another one, then another one, everybody, everybody's barking. Okay, so that's kind of gone around, if you can see. Like so. Okay. Oh, I might as well do this too, too. I hate for this one to be a long video, um, but I enjoy long videos watching people craft I'll see what they do and I learn you know chit chat about different little things well, that's a little bit much like the weather how about that polar vortex that came down and surprised everybody Oh, poor people in Texas. They need your prayers. Mm. And not just Texas, a lot of states. Caught people off guard. I mean, who would have thought that people in Texas were going to be going through this? Well, go happy with that. It's okay. It's my collage and I'll do how I want to. Yep. Okay. So there's that. Now. With this one. I did a butterfly. And I put some of that diamondette bling. And some lace in the bling. And an eyelet. And some lace. A little saying and a little saying and a bowl pen. I could do basically the same thing uh, with this, with uh, this one or this one or both, or do something different. Let's just, you know, let's just kind of figure it out. That I had this one already made up for uh, the first one, and I kept looking at it. Kept I finally cut out a bigger butterfly, and I was much happier, much happier with it. Hey. Come here, Sophie. Come here, girl. What is it, huh? What is it? Come here, booby. Come here, booby. Come this side. I can pick you up. Come here. Come here. You don't come here. Well, I can't go backwards. You're so cute. Okay, I gotta get back to work, girly. Girly, girly. Okay, uh, got this out still, and it looks good. <laughs> With the green colors. So I think I'll use this again. So do I want to do the edges at the top? Or leave this one? Let's leave this one. Since we got one with the edges already. Okay. So that's probably going to go there. I will do another butterfly or something else for this other one. 
see. What is it, honey? Honey, honey. <coughs> Sophie, that's really loud, honey. Go see your daddy. He's asleep, but you know. Go in there and curl up with him. Hey. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Right now, I don't know where my fabric tack is. Okay, there's that. Put that down there. And. <coughs> I like to go ahead and put a bulb pin on it if you're going to before it gets dry. So it won't be hard to put through it even if you well I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway. She's kind of addling my brain. Okay and I want a saying. Where's my sayings? Here's my sayings. Got a bunch cut out. Let's see what we got. Let's see here. So if I want something down there, kind of like I did with the other one. You could put a date on there, I guess. Nah, I don't like it. Ooh, a flower. That adds color, too. And Sophie. And if I use this butterfly right here, that really kind of... I think that looks pretty. If you want mama to hold you, honey, you have to come here. Here don't get into that stuff. That's my craft stuff. Shh. And maybe I'll just use uh, this one. Okay. So I want to use my crocodile. And I want the little. <whistles> Honey, what in the world? I want the little uh, hole punch. Oh, you're going to tear up my little fan, huh? Okay. Okay. Going to ink this up a little bit. See if I got some ink on there. I do. But, it's not enough. 